Hello friends, welcome to BSU Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. And today's session, we are going to look the manufacturing setup overview of the Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management. So on the screen, you can see the high level process flow diagram of manufacturing plant. It shows the sequence of step to set up a manufacturing plant. So the setup includes the plant setup and the manufacturing common setups. And the last one is manufacturing setups. In the plant setup, first of all, we have to enable the organization as a manufacturing plant. And as we know that the inventory organization always represent facilities for shipping and receiving of goods. And when this facility additionally manufacturing the goods, then you can define the organization as a manufacturing unit. And you can say it represent a manufacturing plant, right? So after completing this process, this enable organization, the default parameter for the manufacturing plant, you can set up and maintain independently of the inventory parameter, right? So in the plant parameter, first we have to define the manufacturing calendar. In the plant parameter, first of all, we have to define the manufacturing calendar. This manufacturing calendar specify the working time in the plant and used to determine the availability of the scheduling work center in work order, right? And we have also defined the work definition and work execution in the plant parameter setup, right? And we also have the defined the plant security. It means we have defined the role to the user. So we have the roles you can see, right? So these are the manufacturing role. The manufacturing engineers maintain and improve the manufacturing process needed to achieve the production goal, right? And the product supervisor is responsible for managing the shop floor production resource and activity to ensure on time production of the product at the required quantity level that meets the customer expectation, right? And the last one is production operator. The production operation is responsible for the efficient operation of the duties and responsibility assigned in the operation of the equipment and assembly of the goods, right? So these are the roles we have to define to the uh, users, right? Now we have to define the data axis for this user, right? So after assigning the roles to the user, we have to provide the data access to the user and we use the manufacturing plant as a security context, right? And we have some common setups. So under the common setup, we have defined the profile option, lookups and descriptive flex field. So we use the profile option to manage the configuration data centrally and determine how the application must run. And for example, we can control some of the user preference such as appearance and the language, data, currency and other similar setting. So under the manufacturing like uh, site level, ours unit of measure and default manufacturing plant organization. So these are the profile options, right? And under the lookups, lookups provide the means of the validation and list of the values where the valid values appears on the list with the no duplicate values. For example, an application might store the value yes or no, right? In a column in a table. But when displaying this value in the user interface, it show yes or no. And uh, last one is a descriptive fax fluid. So the descriptive flex field can be the optional setup to capture the additional information for the uh, setups and work definition entities, right? And uh, we have the manufacturing setups. So at the last, we have to define the manufacturing setups like work area, work center, resources, resource instance, and the standard operation, right? So we have a manufacturing plant. So at the top level, we define the manufacturing plant. Under the manufacturing plant, we define the 
work area. So what is the work area? A work area is a specific region in the manufacturing plant where it, where you can execute the production activities and the work area is a physical, geographical and the logical group of the center, right? Uh, the work area are under the manufacturing plant and the work center comes under the work area, right? So as a manufacturing engineer, you must define at least one work area for the manufacturing plant and at least one work center for each work area, right? So a production operator can report ma material resources and the operation transactions performed at the work center level. That's belong to the specific work area, right? So we have the work area and under the work area, we define the work center. So work center are the specific production unit that consists of people's and the equipment. You can associate each work center with the active work area, right? So under the work center, we have defined the resources. So resources are the people and are the tools uh, allocated to the work area, right? And the resources are the two types. One is labor and another one equipment. You can see over here, uh, resources are the assembly line are the equipment and the packing line are the equipment and the technician are the labor. So these are the resources, right? And we have also defined the resource instance under the resource, right? So the resource instance are the representations of the resource in the Oracle Fusion Manufacturing application. One and more resources instance can be associated to the resource and you can identify a resource by a unique code known as the identifier and a name. And you can also optionally assign a primary work center to the resources instance to identify the department location that our resources instance primarily work in, right? So these are the uh, manufacturing plant, work area, work center, resources and resource instance. So in our upcoming session, we will see how to create a manufacturing plant, how to create the manufacturing areas, work center and the resources and the resources instance in our application. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.